What's up, guys? It's Terry Gold, head coach of Brooklyn Mixed Martial Arts. I'm standing here with the bully. Uh, we're just preparing for Friday's night event at the Ring of Combat. It's going to be a great uh, sold-out show. You know, Pete Drago Cell is on the card, a couple other big names. It's an honor to be fighting with these guys. I uh, expect big things out of the bully in the future. I can't wait for Friday. I've been training very hard for this fight. This fight means a lot to me, and I'm prepared to smash this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, it took 1 minute and 32 seconds in the first round. Submission by way of an all bar. The winner came out of the blue corner, Eric Oganog. When the fight first started, it seemed like the bully was very aggressive. It looked like he was going to take control of the fight, but then the short moment's notice, he got him in an arm bar. Tell us how that happened. I was waiting for this fight. Нужно было переломить уже после, как он дать ему поверить в себя. He was expecting him to go like really aggressively, so this was his tactic for the fight. Once he was done, he was like really pretty positive, like he won the fight. That's everything changed basically. It was his tactic for the fight. So in other words, the aggressiveness kind of put him in his own trap. He was too impulsive, the the uh, the bully. Ты говоришь о том, что агрессивность именно его как бы подвела в то, как он повел. Сильная уверенность в соперниках. He was too, like, he was really, he was positively sure he win the fight, yeah. He made a mistake on an arm bar and it was over. Это как он, то есть он совершил ошибку, это сделал прорывом. Да, я готовил этот прием, он первый раз ушел от него, но второй попался уже. I was actually, I was actually preparing for this fight and this was, like, actually what I was supposed to do. The first time I got him, he got away. The second time I got him in. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Thank you much. Thank you. Us. Thank you. So, Jack, you heard me uh, speak to the fighter. Uh, you, you made a comment about how that armbar actually happened. Absolutely. When you have an aggressive fighter, which we did in the case of Bully, he took his opponent down two times, controlled him on the ground, but ultimately, when someone gives up an arm and you give up a limb, whether it's an arm or a leg, and someone gives a leg lock or an arm bar, as we've seen against Bully, that was the determining factor. And his downfall, he has to be more careful, more confident, and more patient, work on his grappling. So do you think, you think the aggressiveness, at first we thought he came out aggressive, we thought that was gonna be a good thing. You think that worked against him? No, it was a great thing, you have to be aggressive. He did what was right, but again, a little sloppy, a little inexperienced against an experienced Russian fighter. He was waiting and ready, and he was patient, and he took his arm, locked his arm, and Bully had to tap out. All right, thanks, Jack. Appreciate it. We got excited at first. We thought you were very aggressive. You took control, two takedowns. But do you think maybe the aggression, mm, too aggressive maybe? What do you think, honestly? No, I don't think the aggression was too much because that was the game plan, you know? But I just got caught in that little arm bar. I was trying, I was, I was backed against the cage. I was trying to pull out, but he had the entire. Yeah, you. yeah. I'll tell you because we we thought that the way you took control right away, we thought that was going to be a plus for you. But I guess just a little mistake there in the corner. Yeah, that's my game, always taking control. But I'll be back, you know. No, you look you look great, man. You Thank look you. Great, you know, the on bar, that's it, man. It happens, and uh, happens to everybody. <laughs> uh, you all right? You good? Disappointed. 
I know, man, but you know, you look like you came back to really fight, man. Thank you. You know, we're all rooting for you, but next time we'll get it going. All right, Thank man. you. The bully. Thanks, man. Listen, the guy had a lot of fights. He had around 40 professional fights. He, um, and my guy got caught. My guy did excellent. He pressured him. I mean, if you look at the guy's face, that guy took the blunt of all the damage. My guy doesn't have a scratch. But it's, it's mixed martial arts, and, you know, he left his arm out there, and he got caught. But, uh, you know, he's a beast. He doesn't have a scratch on him, so he'll be back next month at Ring of Combat. If uh, we could get this fight again with Eric Aganov, we, we would love it. If not, we'll just move on. Hopefully, the bigger and better. You said he had 40 fights, that guy? Yeah, so he had a lot of experience. Fights. This is the bully's second fight, but we don't back down from any fight. If uh, Dana White called us tomorrow and said step up to fight George St. Pierre, we would get on a plane and go wherever, you know, we had to. So that's the way it is, you know, we took the fight, we saw the way he was doing, and he was doing really well, but you know, again, he got caught, it could happen to anyone. Absolutely, well thank you, Terry. Thank Thanks. you.